Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the vocals from a stereo track so that you can use it for like karaoke or background track or something like that. All right, let's begin. Before we actually start working on the track, I want to tell you a couple of things about what we're doing. First of all, you can only do this with a stereo track. You see right here where it says stereo. So if you have a mono track you're wanting to do this to, you're out of luck. It just won't work. Uh, secondly, what you need to understand is you cannot entirely remove vocals from a track or any other instrument for that matter because uh, the way a track is mixed, everything is mixed together. And so trying to take one thing out is kind of like trying to take yeast out of bread once it's already baked. You can't really do it. However, what we're going to do is we're going to use a, an effect called invert that is going to uh, invert one of the waveforms so that they cancel each other out. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go over here on this zoom in tool and I'm going to zoom way in on this track that I've got. And you'll notice this waveform, there's, there's the left channel up here, there's the right channel down here, and the two channels each have their own form and the form kind of follows the same pattern as the other. You see where this one goes up, this one goes up. Where this one goes down, this one goes down, generally speaking. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply an invert, which will take one of these tracks, this lower track, and it's going to invert this waveform. So let me zoom back out, just so we can get to where we were. I want you to hear uh, this track, to hear that there is indeed vocal in it. Okay, and that's a free track I downloaded from the internet. So... We are going to do uh, a function to take the vocals and push them way to the background of the music so that you can't hear it as well. That's basically what you're uh, accomplishing with the invert. However, uh, most of the tutorials that I see on YouTube and other places only take one step in this. And as a result, your track doesn't sound so great because part of what gets canceled out is some lower frequencies like your bass and your drums. And so I'm going to show you an additional step that will help you to keep the bass and the drums uh, more present so that it sounds better. Now the key to doing that is what I'm about to do right here. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select this entire track. I'm going to go up to Edit, Copy. Then I'm going to make sure my selector tool is on. I'm going to click below and I'm going to go to Edit, Paste. And I have just copied the entire track down here because I'm going to use this later on to make my bass and my lower frequencies come back out. But for right now, I'm going to mute this track because I don't want to hear it. All right, now, what I'm going to do to make my inversion on this upper track is I'm going to go to this arrow next to the name. I'm going to go down here and split stereo to mono. So what I've done is I've made two mono tracks. Now I'm going to select this bottom track of the two, and I'm going to go up here to Effect, and you have two different ways of doing this on the newest version of Audacity. And this is December 2012, by the way. Uh, you have, first of all, an effect here called Invert. You can use that one. It's fine. I don't usually use that one because I like the way this other one actually works out. And it is called Inverter. And it's down here in the other plugins, the additional plugins. And so I'm going to click on Inverter. You just barely see anything happen there. But if we zoom back in, what you're going to notice is that now our waveform is kind of opposite. Where this one goes up, this one goes down. Where this one goes up, this one goes down. All right? So that's what we just did. We just inverted it. So I'm going to click back on this track, roughly where we were before, and I'm going to show you what it sounds like now that we've done the invert. Now that's where the vocals were before, but they're gone now. However, you probably noticed doesn't sound real good because we don't have the lower end now. That's where this next track is going to come in. I'm going to take off the mute and I'm going to select the entire track by clicking over in this area. And now I'm going to put another effect on it. And what I'm going to use is this one right here called LS Filter. Now there's quite a few ways you can do this as well. You can use this LS Filter or you can use this Low Pass Filter. Or up here, there's some called Glame. You can use Glame Butterworth Low Pass, or you can use Glame uh, Low Pass Filter. You can use any of these. Now, what a Low Pass Filter is, is it's a filter you're putting on your audio, but uh, what it does is it filters out everything except for the low frequencies. It allows the low to pass through the filter. So that's why it's called a Low Pass. Now, this LS Filter 
is one where you can set the type of filter. This LP is low pass, BP is, I don't know, and the HP is a high pass. But you set it right here, what kind you want, and then you adjust your cutoff frequency. And what this means is what frequency do you want it to cut off so that everything above that you do not hear. Okay, so I want this to be fairly low, like right around 220, 240, somewhere in there. Because if I do it too high, you're going to hear vocal cutting through. So let's listen to the preview. Okay, you can't hear any vocal. That's what I want. So I'm going to bump it up a little more and see what it sounds like. Oh, you know what? I just realized uh, because I'm doing a sec the whole track, it's only playing at the beginning where there is no vocal. So let me highlight a section here where I know there's vocal. And then we'll go back and we'll do the LS filter. Uh, and we'll set it right about where I was, I was messing with it before. And we'll listen to that. Okay, so you can hear the vocal, but it's very repressed. It's very, very far back in the background. So I'm going to lower it a little more. Okay, I'm going to do it back up where it was before at that 220 range. Because that amount of vocal is not going to come through. Okay, so now I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to apply that to that section that I did, but I don't want to do just the section. So I'm going to undo that. I want to do the entire track. So I'm going to go to Effect, LS Filter. I'm going to make sure this is right about 220, and then I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to do that on the entire track. And you're going to see a dramatic difference here, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, and I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like now with my inversion effect, my inverter effect, and with this low pass filter on the second track down here. Here's what it sounds like. I'm going to mute it so you can hear what it sounded like before we did the low pass filter. You hear the difference? The bass is really gone. So that amount of vocal is little enough that you can that you can use it for a karaoke or something like that and that really is the best you can get on doing this kind of thing because like I said the vocal is mixed into it and it's very difficult very difficult to get it out in fact I would say it's impossible so that's it we've used the inverter function we split first of all we split into split mono tracks we use the inverter function and because we had copied the entire thing down here and we're able to do a low pass filter on it we kept some of the bass in the track. So that's it for this edition. Uh, FreeAudacityTutorials.com. I do podcast consulting, especially for faith-based podcasts. If you're a, a believer in Christ and you want to do a podcast, hey, connect with me. We can figure out a way to make that happen. Also, I do podcast cover art, and I also do website headers at very reasonable prices. So check me out, FreeAudacityTutorials.com.